A man is shot by Noblesville police, and this afternoon, we're on the scene working to learn more information. Police were called multiple times to this home, and in their words, they made contact with the man and his girlfriend walking towards that home. And that's when a Noblesville officer fired. It is our top story, first at four. I'm Daniel Miller. And I'm Bearshell Edme. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli has been at that scene all day long, working to learn more about what happened here. And Courtney, police still haven't given many updates. Not many updates, you guys, but in the last 20 minutes, we've learned that police responded to multiple disturbance calls at a home on this street. The mayor's office says someone in that home has an active warrant, but they didn't say whether that person is the person who was shot by Noblesville police. We also have been here on scene all day, and I can tell you just within the last several minutes, the final remaining officers here finally cleared the scene, and that's more than 10 hours after this officer-involved shooting happened. Still, neighbors tell us they want to learn more more about what led up to this. Just before 5.30 Wednesday morning, Noblesville police responded to South 5th Street. Police say when officers arrived, they were unable to get a response from anyone at that home. I just always drink my coffee every morning on the back deck. One neighbor who doesn't want to be identified says this day was different. At first it was just a bunch of dogs barking and then I heard what sounded like a gunshot. That woman says she wasn't too worried for her safety, but hoped everyone else was okay. There was already cops everywhere, and the roads were all blocked off with yellow tape. Police say moments after they got no response, they heard yelling coming from nearby. In their words, they made contact with a man and his girlfriend walking back towards the house. A Noblesville police officer shot that man, and hours later, police still haven't said why. I'd like to, more, to know more details about uh, the shooting so that I can understand it. We do know the Carmel Police Department will now be leading the criminal investigation. Meanwhile, for those who live in this neighborhood, the shooting came as a surprise. I've never heard of a gun shot in this area before. Very concerned. Just a block away, it's kind of frightening, but it's usually pretty quiet around here. Now, the mayor's office says the, quote, final interaction ended in that officer-involved shooting, but they didn't make clear what happened in between the police response to the calls when they spotted those individuals or heard them, rather, walking towards them and that officer-involved shooting. Still details that we are working to learn more on. For now, reporting in Noblesville, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.